Hey guys, I'm going to show you a room and property tour of the Tiki Shores Motel in Penticton, British Columbia. Now the thing that is the best about this motel is its location. It is right across the street from the Okanagan Lake and you just have to walk across this crosswalk and you are here at the beach right on the lake. So I stayed in room 128 which is a one bedroom suite on the main floor. So even though my room was about halfway back on the property, you can still see the water if you look out the door. So as soon as you walk in the door, this is what you see. And it is fairly dark. You could keep these blinds open and get some natural light, but then you're looking right into the parking lot where everyone is gonna look in. So I'm everyone keeps it closed pretty much, you can see. So they could do, honestly, they could do with another light up here. They have this little table lamp, but it's, it is pretty dark in here, honestly, and it's in the middle of the day. So there's just a sofa, some art, and then we have a little kitchenette. So this is a eating area where they have four stools if you need to have some stools. And then we have a coffee maker, a little TV, lots of storage. And they have cutlery. And what else do they have? Kind of all sorts of dishes and everything that you could need if you had to cook. So that's good. And they have a stove with an oven, which I didn't know. <laughs> I knew there'd be a stove, but I thought, yeah, I didn't know that I would have picked up like a pizza or something. Um, and a little Keurig coffee maker. But no K-cups. And then we're going into the one bedroom. This one is a little bit lighter. Um, you basically just have a plain bed with some drawer space. Oh, oh, okay. Really hard drawers to open and close. And a mirror here. And then um, an open closet with extra pillows and sheets and lots of hangers. And a nice big window, however, it looks right onto the next hotel. So again, I wouldn't, well, I'm, if I'm not changing or anything, I could keep this open. And then going into the bathroom. Oh, nope. This one is a nice bright room, thank goodness. Uh, actually, the bathroom looks very nice. Um, nice tile that kind of goes along and just laminate floor there, but it looks clean. This space. And a tub. I mean, it's not the prettiest. You see right there, it's getting some like mold and mildew, but overall it's fine. And there's a nice bright, a nice window that's light in, but that's, you know, you cannot see in. Shower. And then they did do add uh, just a little bit of shampoo conditioner, so that's good. There's two in there. And then there is a hair dryer that comes with it. And then that's it. And the door does lock automatically. Um, there's this extra bolt for like at night or when you want to feel really secure. Um, but yes, thank goodness I put my key in my pocket when I went out to get my my luggage because I was like, oh yeah, well I'm not going to lock it. But no, sure enough, it locks behind you. Um, so then this is a picture of all of the um, places. So there's kind of guest laundry here, a pool, guest barbecues, which is nice. Um, and then I'm in this room right here, 128. Then here we have a private barbecue area. Now this barbecue does go with one of the rooms that you can book, um, but there is a similar one in the back that looks similar, also kind of grass area. It's just bigger and it's for everyone. And then this is a nice large pool area and it's a heated pool and it's open kind of May to October and they have lounge chairs all around as well and this is at the back of the property and then there is also a restaurant, Cambo restaurant which kind of has cuisine from all over the world. 
So overall, the motel is fine. It's not amazing. It's not beautiful, but it is fine. You have a full kitchen, and if you're not going to spend that much time in your room, it doesn't really matter if it's kind of dark. Um, the best thing is the location that is right across from the lake, and I would recommend it, and I would come back as long as, yeah, you're not looking to have like a romantic getaway to spend a lot of time in your room. If you want to go see things and go spend time on the lake, you just need a place to crash and make breakfast, lunch, and dinner.